The earlier breaking news was today in San Jose, where houses shook, explosions started popping one after another, and for a minute or two, there was enough commotion that one woman thought she was hearing an active shooter. But it wasn't that chaotic nonetheless. A huge fire broke out at a storage facility, and it was what may have been burning inside that caused such a spectacle. This is what's left. Live pictures right now of this public storage facility in South San Jose. This fire started around 6.30 this evening, and firefighters have a long night ahead of putting out hot spots, cleaning up all the mess, and figuring everything out. The fire was on Blossom Hill Road near Cottle, across the street from the Westfield Oak Ridge Mall. And you could hear those popping sounds from the fire. Listen. Well, that piece of video gives you a sense of why some people thought there could have been a shooting happening. And look at all of this smoke over the San Jose skyline for miles right up until sunset. This is a time lapse from our tower camera. We also have some new video of when it started. Look at that. This is Bruce who posted this video. He said he saw this happening in real time while looking out of his back door. Now it is a matter of figuring out why this happened. Arlen Ramirez has more on the fire that spread panic, fear, and even desperation from people who saw and heard it. Well, the nearest fire station is right across the street from the public storage building that blew up and caught fire. But in that short response time period, the flames were so intense that there was little firefighters could do to try and put out the flames. Firefighters surrounded the public storage building on Blossom Hill Road at Cottle, spraying water from all sides and over the top. But the flames kept on burning. A crowd gathered on the streets nearby, some of them storage customers like Diane, who could barely watch their keepsakes go up in flames. Three generations of family belongings, but the most important thing is it's my father's hole in one golf ball is in there. The fire began with a powerful blast at about 6.30, rattling walls and windows blocks away. And things continued to blow up inside as the evening set in. Actually, I was terrified. I was in my house. My whole house shook. I thought we were at first having, first thoughts immediately came to me thinking we were having an earthquake. And then once that calmed down, I was wondering if my neighbor upstairs above me was maybe dropping furniture all over the place. It was just rumbling really loud. Then the next thing is, oh my God, we, we got an active shooter because I just kept hearing pop, 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 really loud bangs. I mean, really, really loud. The fire quickly grew to three alarms. Firefighters realized early on that there was no way to save the property that was burning and no one was believed to be inside. So they set up defensive positions to guard other storage buildings from the intense flames and heat. Neighbors citing the popping and the smell of the fire wondered if fireworks were somehow involved. The fire department so far has no answers. We have no idea what's in the storage unit, so the uh, crews are conducting defensive operations and we have not committed any crews inside the building. At this point, there are no injuries. Firefighters will continue pouring water on the building throughout the night and will begin their investigation as soon as it's safe to get in. Once again, those explosion sounds are what had all of us in the newsroom wondering what was inside that storage unit. Could they have been fireworks? Could they have been something else? As you heard in Len's piece, firefighters have not told us even as of yet, but they're going to be looking into that for the next few days. We'll keep checking on it. And as always, for the very latest, just head to our website, kpix.com.